Excuse how the sun is absolutely blinding my eyeballs right now. This is literally something I just came up with like five seconds ago, but I think every time I make a video where I'm talking about something involving my mental health or mental disorder, I'm gonna talk about it on the floor because that's just genuinely how I feel. I have this thing that I have had to live with for quite some time. Actually quite a few things, but there's one main thing that I never know how to talk about with other people because it's something that you can't understand unless you go through it yourself, and that is borderline personality disorder. Honestly, I don't know what makes me feel comfortable coming on here and talking to a camera in front of people I don't even know about something I don't even understand that I've had to live with for years. Rather than my friends or the people in my life or in my support system in real life. I sat down and started to record this video and I didn't even know what I was gonna say and I still don't. This is something you technically can't get diagnosed with until you're 18 years old because technically your personality isn't fully developed until you're 18 years old, but I've known I've had this for quite a few years. I've always been a very sensitive person. I don't just mean, no, oh, I'm dramatic. I overthink situations so much to the point where I make problems that aren't real. And then I'll sit there and cry over them. Get these uncontrollable impulses. It makes me feel like less of a human being because I'm turning 19 and I feel like I can't control a lot of things that a grown woman should know how to control. I hate drama, I hate when there's problems in my life and I blow up the tiniest situations into the biggest things that don't even exist in the real world but in my head they do. Or they do exist in the real world but I blow them way out of proportion to the point that it destroys me mentally. I've always had to deal with a lot mentally. Let's go down the long list, shall we? Just to give you guys an idea that this isn't the only thing, this is like the thing that controls me the most. This is like the thing that makes me feel like I'm in a box, separated from all these other normal people with normal emotions. I have PTSD, major depression, OCD, bipolar disorder, type one, borderline personality disorder, panic disorder, generalized anxiety, and I'm sure there's a shit ton more. Thing is I've never officially been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. When I got out of the hospital after my first overdose attempt, I was in Mass General Hospital for like a month and then I had to go to a mental hospital for another couple weeks basically in Concord. I was transferred to this outpatient mental health facility program where they had absolutely no idea what they were doing. They had me on the wrong meds, they diagnosed me with the wrong stuff. For years I was literally being treated for the wrong things and I was on different combinations of pills for the wrong combination of things and it just fucked me up so much more. I was always very determined to like make these people try to understand what I was feeling because I've always been an extremely passionate person and that's part of borderline personality disorder. Like I'm very stubborn. When my mind is set on something, my mind is set on something. Whether it's just some regular thing in life or a problem that isn't real that I make into this huge problem. What I hate about being bipolar and having borderline personality disorder is that because I'm bipolar, my moods are up and down all the time. So my moods already don't make sense in that category. And then you bring in borderline personality disorder. I'm I'm not over exaggerating when I say I can be the happiest girl on earth one second and the next I will literally be trying to overdose. That just doesn't make sense to me. So many things I want to say in this video just to get them off my chest and just to be able to say I said them. This is the one thing I can never talk to anybody about because it is so impossible for someone with regulated emotions or anything less than borderline personality disorder to really understand where the fuck you're coming from and why the fuck you're feeling these things that make absolutely no sense and why your mood goes like this every second like it makes you very hard to understand it makes it very hard for the people around you to be there for you and love you properly it makes you look like a terrible person. I'm so scared of being abandoned. I'm so scared of being hurt again that I literally go above and beyond to make sure it doesn't happen, even if that means self-sabotaging myself and my relationships and my friendships for no good reason other than something I'm making up or something I'm overthinking so I can ruin it 
for myself before they can ruin it for me, I guess. That's the best description of borderline personality disorder I could personally give. And if you're watching this and you, you're you not bipolar, or you don't have some sort of like emotional regulation disorder, it's really hard to understand and it can sound insane. I just wanted to put this out there because I am starting to post videos on a more regular schedule. I am starting to look at YouTube as more of a serious thing in my life and something I have a passion for and something I genuinely want to put time and effort to. I've gone through so much, like I have so many stories to tell, I have so many experiences to share. I've been thinking a lot about a channel trailer lately and just what I would put in that, but I don't think I have enough good videos yet to make like a compilation video of what this channel is really about. I don't want it to mainly be anything. Honestly, I want to be able to go anywhere with a camera and document the beautiful things in life that make me want to stay alive that have kept me out of the hospital, whether that's cheerleading, whether that's music, whether that's just traveling around the world and seeing the beauty of life, or sitting down and making more serious videos like these, talking about my mental health and things I deal with mentally, and I know other people do. I just really wanna help people, and I wanna help, I guess, inspire people who are in a dark place like I was, because I've been in the darkest of places. I'm still in a dark place, like, out of all the things I've accomplished, and out of all the things I'm so proud of myself for, this is the one thing I look in the mirror at myself every day, and I say, this is gonna be the thing that ends my life. This is the one thing I really need therapy for. This is the one thing I've been to therapy for for years. I went to dialectical behavioral therapy. I went to occupational therapy. I went to anger management. Like I've never known how to come to terms with the fact that I have this. I try really hard to make it so it's not the definition of who I am. But the truth is, the reason I still fall back into those really dark places sometimes, the reason I'll be completely fine staring out my window, smiling, you know, happy at life, thinking about everything I've accomplished, thinking about how far I've come and all the things I still have to accomplish and all the things I still have to look forward to. This is the one thing I really need help with. I have all these disorders that don't go well with borderline and it just amplifies the symptoms so much more and this is the shit i sit down at the end of the day about this is the shit i cry over the reason i'm not okay is because i don't let myself be okay everyone can tell me I deserve to be happy. Everyone can tell me how good I'm doing. I never stop asking myself why I self-sabotage myself, why I ruin perfectly good things in my life, why I sit there consciously knowing that everything is okay. Literally sitting there telling myself to breathe, telling myself not to freak out, not to act on my impulses, not to think all these false things that I force myself to believe are true, and they still feed into my head and they still absolutely crush my heart. I don't have a safe person in my life I can talk to about this because every single person I ever try to talk to about this thinks I'm fucking insane. I have the best, most supportive boyfriend in the world. And when I tell you guys that he can't even deal with me, it's not that he can't deal with me, it's that I have been putting so much on him. I put like all my thoughts onto him and he doesn't know how to help me and I don't blame him because nobody does and it's just not it's not something you can talk to somebody who isn't a therapist who is extremely experienced in this shit like it's not something you can talk to anyone about it's so isolating to me honestly my best friend Charlie I've mentioned in some videos now my best friend for over 10 years I love the kid always there for me they're probably the person who can understand me the most. If there was a person in my life I had to choose who was extremely similar to me, I would choose Charlie. He doesn't have borderline personality disorder, but we've been through some fucking hell together. They know some shit. Always beg me to get help. I think they've always seen when I'm in a worse spot better than I have. And I can be in denial about that sometimes just because I feel like I've gone through way too much in my life and it's honestly just so tiring after you turn 18 having to like call all these doctors and make all these appointments for yourself because I have anxiety I just can't like it sounds so dumb to someone who's not mentally ill to someone who has no problem you know doing these things and doesn't have an emotional regulation problem literally every little thing you feel 
makes your whole life traumatic and fucked up. It's like there's always a problem with me. I try so hard to be happy and I always have a problem. I definitely need to be in therapy right now for PTSD and I'm not. I definitely need to be getting a new primary care physician because mine stopped taking my insurance and I owe a balance and ever since I have just been avoiding it and now I'm about to run out of all my antipsychotics and antidepressants. It's like I wait till the last minute until my life is about to blow up. And my mom has always been my best friend. She's been the one, you know, to help me make my appointments, help me find these places and like, help me get my life together when I don't have the mental capacity to. But now it's like, I'm 19. It's my responsibility. My health and my mental health and how I'm doing and how I'm going to live the rest of my life is my responsibility. And for someone who's as mentally fucked up as I've been, like, it's a lot of pressure. It's just a lot of pressure. Because I know if I don't do this thing that makes me beyond anxious, my life is gonna fall apart and it just honestly makes me want to give up so much. I'm constantly torn between looking myself in the mirror and saying, you are a strong person. You have been through living hell. I cannot believe you're here. Like I give you applause, girl. Like you're doing fabulous. To how do you live with this every day? How are you going to get through the rest of your life? Why are you even trying? Why this? Why that? And I don't like sitting here and blaming my mental diagnoses is on why I'm doing so damn bad in life because it's like if you're miserable why don't you get your ass up and do something about it but then when I go to try I fail or I don't try hard enough or I one day actually have the motivation to try and I feel like shit I'm not comfortable to make an entire video on this but I also have been struggling with an eating disorder for the past nine years of my life it's gotten to the point where I made myself throw up for so many years that now if I try to recover, if I try to eat normally, if I try to do anything normally, I just automatically throw it up. One day when I'm better, when I'm recovered, or when I'm ready to make that video, I will. I made one a couple years ago and I ended up, I think it's unlisted. So people who have the link can watch it, but if you don't have the link, you can't because straight up, that was when I started to starve myself and lose a shit ton of weight. So it was literally one of the last videos on my channel where I was 250 pounds and then I dropped down to 150. Purely because I stopped eating, purely because I was making myself throw up every day. And now it's like, for so long, I've been stripping my body of all these nutrients and shit. It's constantly this fight of, I wanna get better and I hate my body so much I can't. Or I actually try to get better, I'm willing to do this shit, I'm willing to, you know, eat normally and then I feel like shit and I throw up and I get sick. It's like, if I am not having borderline personality shit go on, it's my eating disorder shit. It's like, those are the two things that constantly are fighting against each other. That's like what I deal with every day. Body image, body dysmorphia, eating disorder, physical health problems. I am constantly dizzy. I'm constantly, you know, throwing up. Like no matter what, I will literally straight up just drink water and throw it up. Constantly dehydrated. I've been to the hospital multiple times just to get like bags of IV fluid in me and this most recent time was because I had mono and I literally could not eat or drink anything, whether, you know, my eating disorder had to do with it or not. But before that, I've gone to get fluids just because I've been dehydrated. It's a living hell and I know to get help for it, I'd have to literally admit myself to a hospital for a very long time and I, I don't know when I'm gonna be ready for that again because I hate the hospital. I've been admitted so many times. So it's just like, I'm constantly trying to work things out by myself. I'm constantly trying to keep myself sane. But when my body is physically not letting me, when my body is physically saying, you know, no, like I'm not gonna let you do this, it's hard. It's really hard. I've been very overwhelmed today by those things and for a very long time by those things and I haven't really known how to fix them and that's kind of what my life consists of is constantly my borderline personality disorder fighting against my eating disorder constantly making me feel like mental or physical shit every single day and I'm fighting it my YouTube channel is not only gonna be you know 
covers, story times, inspirational shit. It's gonna be this too. It's gonna be my journey of my long ass, painful ass fight of all I've dealt with my whole life. And there's gonna be days where it's gonna be extremely hard and there's gonna be days where I feel like I can actually do it. And I'm gonna take you guys on that journey either way. Glad I'm getting back into this and I'm really glad to have this platform for whatever it may be, whether it's music or sharing my stories or talking. <laughs> um, thank you guys for listening. If any of you are going through this, you know, borderline shit, any mental shit, I'm always here for you. If you wanna share your stories down in the comments or shoot me an email or message me on, you know, any of my social media, I'm always here for anyone and everyone, at least I try to be, because I know what it's like to have nothing and no one and to fuck yourself over so much to the point where you hate yourself. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.